Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new and viewing for the first time, we would like to take the time to say welcome. We would love to have you as part of the Elegance family. We would love to have you hit that subscribe button to your right and make sure to turn on your post notification so that you will be notified every time we post a new video. Today we have a special project for you. Although we're not new to crushed glass, we are new to putting crushed glass on a canvas. This would be our first time doing it. So if this is a project you think you may be interested in making, just continue to keep watching. For this project you will need one four foot canvas, one bag of crushed glass, paint brushes, Mod Podge, and silver leafing. All materials that we are using today will be linked in the description bar below this video. As you can see we decided to go with a flower instead of a paint brush. So a paint brush is optional. You can use whatever it works easy for you on this canvas. We just decided to use a flower because it does cover a large amount of area. This is our first time trying crushed glass on a canvas and this is the first time of us bringing it to our channel and it is a very fun project and um, we are enjoying making this. So let us know in the comments below if you like this type of art decor for the walls and if so let us know and we will try to bring more of this type of decor. This is a pretty easy project. You can't really go wrong with whatever you put on your canvas. You are the artist and so you are just bringing beauty to life. And we are just experimenting with the crush class today. When you do this project too, you'll see that you'll have, you're gonna have so much fun creating what you desire to create on this canvas. We're almost finished applying the crushed glass to the canvas and we will let it set for about an hour and we will shake it to make sure that the the crushed glass that did not adhere would fall will fall off and we will do that hour so to make sure that everything that did adhere will continue to stick onto the canvas now we are applying the bigger crush glass onto the canvas with a, using a glue gun because these pieces are too heavy to hold onto the canvas. So we are applying them with a glue gun. But if you want to make this permanent, you can also apply it with um, a permanent glass glue. But the glue gun makes it permanent as well. So you don't have to really worry about it falling off. We've uh, dealt with the big crush glass for a few years now and we've never had problems with any items or anything lifting or coming off. But we never have to seal an item. But if you decide to seal your items, it's perfectly fine. After you have applied the bigger crushed glass and it's complete, then you do wanna get out all the glue webs from your canvas before you start leafing the canvas. We are going to fill the spaces that the crushed glass did not adhere to with silver leafing. So this part is called gold leafing, but we are silver leafing um, the areas that the crushed glass left behind. They do have gold leafing adhesive, but we just decided to use the Mod Podge because we feel that it does the same thing. We 
With gold leafing, you want to remember to remove the extra off with a dry paintbrush because if you use the same paintbrush that you applied the Mod Podge or the adhesive to, it will then stick to your paintbrush. So you want to always remember to use a dry one. Now we will continue this process until the silver leafing is complete throughout the canvas. This part is optional. While we're waiting for the canvas to kind of dry, we are going to spray, we are going to paint some bamboo. These bamboo sticks we've had for a while now. We picked them up from Pier 1 about maybe 20 years ago. And so if you don't have any type of bamboo sticks, you can use regular sticks, any type of sticks that you can find that's similar. It doesn't have to be exactly what we have, but if you want to kind of become creative, you can do that as well you can kind of like do whatever you want on this part it's totally up to you this part is optional again um, we are going to um, add glitter to this we added all types of glitter we used a penny color glitter we used um, big glitter um, jumbo silver flakes we used the white glitter and we also used some like diamond beads so we just kind of like um, you don't have to do this this is optional and we're just kind of creating at this point so you can create whatever you want and we are shaking it out and we are painting the sides of the canvas so that we can put the silver leafing on the sides and we will be putting bamboo on the sides as well. So this is something that we are creating, but the canvas is basically done. So you kind of like play around with it, see what you'd like to do on yours. wall art is basically already done but this part is optional we are applying the bamboo sticks onto the canvas and it kind of like um, does look like a scroll but we are just going to create a little bit and um, see where it takes us We did eventually end up painting the inside of the bamboo because we did not like the tan showing. And also we wanted to show you if you wanted to create with using some type of brooch, you can do that as well. So um, this, there's so much you can do and so much creativity with this wall decor. This does complete our tutorial for today. And if you like this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and comment down below and let us know which wall decor you enjoyed the most. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you. And if you would hit that subscribe button to your right and make sure to turn on your post notification, it will notify you every time we post a new video. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you. And we will see you on our next video. Bye.